Hello everyone. Okay. Rosie is not very happy about having to be held. Um, so I live in an apartment now with some pretty thin walls, so I'm trying to be kind of quiet. Um, I don't exactly have a setup yet that I'm confident in being louder in. So that'll come soon. No. The so we'll have an apartment tour at some point, but for right now I just want to talk about um, Jack and uh, what happened with that. So let me get up close so I can speak a little. You don't hear me. So, Jack was very, very sick with, um, insulinoma. He, um, he had had it for quite a while, and we, we tried to treat it as best as we could with, um, prednisone. Jack, uh, I think had insulinoma for probably at least about a year. Um, so we... we I took him to the vet when he, we started having trouble walking. They confirmed it was insulinoma. So we gave him prednisone with a mixture of some other thing. And um, that sort of worked for a little bit. He kind of recovered. He was having trouble with his hind legs, which is a pretty common symptom of um, insulinoma and ferrets. Um, and so that uh, that helped, but um, the last few months of his life, um, he just kind of kept going downhill and getting worse. The uh, last week of his life, he really couldn't use his back legs any. Um, it got that bad. So he w he was almost five. He was about five. So, I mean, he had a fairly, not sh not too short, but somewhat short for ferrets. So, in the last week of his life, he really couldn't walk using his back legs anymore, and um, he was just very tired. Uh, I didn't have very much energy left, and um, the night before I took him to the vet, he was breathing hard, and he was having trouble breathing. And it was kind of at that point that I knew it was really time for him to go. Um, he wasn't, I don't think at that point there was really anything they could do for him. Um, so when I got to the vet, um, there was a couple of things that happened. Well, the first was I kept my cool for um, most of it. The I, I kept my cool, but... Uh, as soon as I saw the, the veterinarian, I just kind of lost it. Um, what really, um, what really was bad is that, or I guess good, is that uh, when they went to When they went to um, get everything out, you know, I was holding him, you know, giving him as much love as I could in his final moments. Um, so they get the sedative out and they get the um, shot that'll actually stop his heart. Um, they get those out. So they give him the sedative and they hand it back to me so I can hold him, you know, while he goes to sleep. And uh, a couple of minutes go by, and when I hand him back, they um, they say that he was he'd already passed. That he must have been really sick, for because the sedative was all it took for him to go. So um, 
I guess it was good in the fact that um, he got to die in my arms, you know. So, after that, I had to try and drive home, which was a real interesting experience. If any of you ever have to do that, just probably want to bring someone else to drive home. That's just my advice, because trying to drive home when you've just had to put your animal to sleep is not fun. So they gave him a cute box to put him in. And, uh... You know, the doctors, the, the veterinarian, he was, he was very sweet about it. Um, he's the one I've seen before. And, uh, yeah. So I had to borrow a shovel, go dig a hole, and bury my ferret. I don't think Rosie wants to be held right now. She's just pitching a fit. So now I only have Rosie, and uh, as you can probably tell from the background, I live on my own now. I'll have to give an apartment tour up sometime, but for right now, this is it. Thank you all so much. In honor of Jack, give your ferrets a little extra love tonight, or any of your animals for that matter. I'll see you guys later.